welcome to my basement workshop. I'm here to show you my latest project and that is an AM software defined radio. Um, that's basically running on an Atmega 169. This wave here is 667 kilohertz. That's a 12 instruction loop running at 8 megahertz, uh, modulating using the ADC uh, and some interrupts in the software there. And basically this is being received by my world band radio at 668 kilohertz. And uh, let me give you a quick sample of what that sounds like. So you can see on this screen here, the wave is now modulating. Um, it's pretty well defined. You can clearly see a sine wave here. I've only got four samples, a zero, one, a zero, and a negative one, uh, simply due to the speed limitation of the chip. Uh, these corners here are terrible for actual radio use because they're basically high, high frequency sine waves added together to create such a sharp cusp like that. Some filtering could really help the circuit. Uh, I don't have any input bu or output buffering on this circuit. I just have an LC tank, and currently it is running unloaded. There is no antenna connected. As soon as I connect an antenna, it, it drags the line down and um, reduces the wave that you can see on the display, but you can still tune it. So here, I'll give you a quick demo. You can see the audio quality is pretty good. And uh, the range is also not bad. Uh, currently I'm using the ceiling grid in my basement shop here to uh, act as an antenna. It works well because of the large surface area. It may not necessarily be tuned properly, but it does, uh, it does a fairly good job. So I can pick up the radio and I can move around a bit. A little bit of noise. This is with no antenna. So with no antenna it works roughly a meter away. Um, however, as soon as I change the configuration here on my breadboard, now we're working with an antenna connected. So you can see the wave on the scope got much, much lower amplitude. But now I can remove the ra I can move the radio around the room, and the signal is still quite strong. So I'm now about uh, two, maybe three meters away from the transmitter, and the signal is still very, very strong. So I can even take a walk up here down the hall, and the signal starts to fade. But it's still really impressive, considering that the circuit is consists of simply a DAC uh, with no buffering. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks for watching.